All right, let's get started. <laughs> okay, first question. What's the first app you open on your phone in the morning? That's a great question. I think I open my email app. I, I check my email and see if I uh, have anything pressing that I need to take care of. Um, I've recently had to uh, stop looking at, at social media when I wake up in the morning because it make, gives me too much stress. All right. Uh, can you give my listeners a little history of who you are and what you do? Oh, wow. Just jumping right in, eh? Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, hi, Faith. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Jana. Um, I am uh, Minakanju Ansichangu Lakota. I'm enrolled in the Cheyenne River Lakota Sioux Tribe, and I'm really happy to be here with you today. Thank you. Thank you. I am an actor and writer. I uh, am uh, one of the stars of the show Rutherford Falls, and I'm also a writer on the show. Um, and yeah, I'm, I was born and raised in Oregon um, in a pretty intertribal community um, in the Willamette Valley. I went to University of Oregon for college and uh, started studying theater arts and, and acting there. And so after that, I moved to New York City and uh, and 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 after New York City, I moved here. I was a teacher in New York for a while, for about ten years, um, and now I'm a um, a TV writer. That's awesome. Um, how did your family and friends react to seeing you on TV? Um, very excited. Everyone has been really supportive of, um, of my journey. And, um, yeah, we're just having a good time. I think, you know, a lot of my friends, oh, there's my cat. <laughs> and Wilma. Um, a lot of my friends and family have been watching me do comedy for a long time because I've been doing live comedy, um, you know, since I was in college and, and plays and stuff. And so, um, yeah, these are people who have sort of watched me hustle for a long time. And um, I think it's fun to see somebody you know on TV. All right, that's great. If you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would that meal be? Mm. Ooh. Very challenging questions here. Um, hard hitting. <laughs> I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna choose a cuisine. I'm not gonna choose one meal. Cause if I had to have something for the rest of my life, I would choose water. Um, <laughs> but, if I get to choose a cuisine, I'm going to say I want Mexican food. Um, what is the weirdest or funniest question you have ever been asked in an interview? Hmm, weirdest or funniest? I don't get asked a lot of weird or funny questions in interviews. You know, it's totally different now. Um, it's totally different. People want to know like about the show. They're, they don't really, it's, you know, um, a lot of like bigger, um, bigger like magazines and, and like newspaper outlets and stuff like that. Like they don't know a lot about native people. So they, I get asked a lot of questions about what's it like being a native person on on TV? And, you know, you can tell that they just want to know what it's like to be a native person. <laughs> what are some words of encouragement that you can leave for the youth or the future generations? Ooh. Um, well, I have a lot of encouragement. Um, I think that the youth, the future generations have a lot of stuff to navigate. Um, I think, um, 
I think the the, the next generations after me are, I, I'm already a very stressed out person. There's a lot of stress in my life. There's a lot of responsibility, a lot of things that I carry. And I only imagine that it's gonna get harder from here for a long time. So I encourage the young people of today to try to have a good time when you are young. <laughs> try to enjoy uh things and you're like try to find the things you like to do um find the people you like to hang out with and like really just have a delightful uh childhood that is free from responsibility that is free from stress because um you know it's hard out here all right cool what advice would you have for your 13 year old self Well, when I was 13, I was really, um, I was really struggling. Um, 13 was a hard year for me. Um, I was struggling with a lot of um, depression as a young woman, um, and and so I, I would tell myself to um, go to therapy. <laughs> Or maybe um, I would tell myself that it's okay to be who you are right now. Yeah. All right. Uh, what? How would you describe your 13-year-old self in three words? Okay. Anxious. Uh, uh, excited. And um, hungry. And I say hungry, you know, literally, but also metaphorically, meaning like I was hungry for a lot of things. Like I was hungry for life, for what life had to offer. I was hungry for all of the things. All right. Um, that's cool. How would your peers describe what you do? They would they would probably, you know, what I do is the way that people most people know me is that I'm a performer, but my peers know me as an advocate um, and an educator. I I'm no longer a paid educator, um, but I still find myself doing a lot of work educating people. What single piece of life advice would you give me? You? Yeah. You need life advice, Faith. You don't seem like a, a person who needs it. <laughs> you're you're leading these this interview. Shoot. If I were doing what you were doing when I was your age, I'd have it all figured out. <laughs> what do you tell me about you? I don't know anything about you, so I can't give you any advice. Well, I uh, well, I would like to inspire the youth and show them that you don't need sports to get to your, like, your goal. Mm. So um, I want to show them that you could be, like, you could just be you. Like, you have to be a pro at being you and you'll be fine. And that's what I want to show the youth. Is that because you are surrounded by a lot of people who think that athletics is sort of going to be the thing that saves them, and or the, that's their only the only career goal that you see around you? Is people are like, I'm going to be a pro basketball player. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want to be when you grow up, or what kind of what do you think about when you look into your future? I don't really know. I know I want to go to college. I don't know what one though. But I do want to go to college, and um, I kind of want to travel the world. I've been saying that for, like, a long time. Like, I'm going to, like, get a house, but, like, just in case anything, like, bad happens, then I'll have that house while I'm traveling the world. That's great. That's a great plan. Um, okay, so based on what you've told me, I, my advice to you is um, 
well, first of all, keep doing what you're doing and asking people questions because that's the best way to like learn about the world um, is just by asking. I hosted a podcast a few years ago because I was just curious and I wanted to interview people. I wanted to talk to people and I think it's a really good way to get to know people. Um, but I also, uh, encourage you to try a lot of different hobbies and, 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 uh, you know, write them until they write them until they break, write them until you're not, not into it anymore. Um, you know, I think as young native women, a lot of times the, the expectation is that we are going to work and provide for our community and you know uplift others um and um and i want to encourage you also to keep uplifting yourself because you are also very powerful and you know it's important to sort of find our place in the world thank you thank you Tell me about the three most influential people in your life and how they impacted you. Three most influential. Well, my grandma is very influential in my life. My grandfather, who has passed, um, was the, one of the most influential people in my life. He was a biology teacher and a biologist and a, and a gardener and uh, a native man. He was very loving and compassionate and um and he sort of taught me how to live with um an open heart um another very influential person in my life is sierra teller ornelas who is the showrunner and executive producer of rutherford falls she's navajo and mexican-american and she is she is a powerhouse she's really cool and she's another native woman in comedy and it was really hard for me to find another like um comedy person and I really feel like she um pulled me up a third person who um I'm really inspired by right now I'm really inspired by Rachel Lorenzo who is a um Pueblo um, uh, a Pueblo activist who um, started the organization Indigenous Women Rising and she supports um, reproductive justice access uh, for Indigenous people. She's really, really incredible. Okay, that's awesome. What is your go-to snack? Well, here we are again talking about chips, creator's uh, best contribution to our world. Um, right now I've been on a big Pringles kick. Also Cheetos, I'm going back to like original Cheetos, a Laura Dan and moment where I'm like, I've been eating too many hot, like flaming hot snacks and I'm starting to get a stomach ache <laughs> when I eat them. So I gotta go back to the OG Cheeto, and once you pop, you can't stop. Pringles, it's where it's at, baby. Those are my two snacks right now. And an iced coffee, I love iced coffee. Coffee is really good. You're drinking coffee, Faith. Yes. Oh. Gosh. Okay. <laughs> More mature than I expected. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what is your favorite TV show? Oh, this is the hardest question you could ever ask. My favorite TV show is prob of all time is probably X Files. Have you ever watched X Files? Mm -mm. Okay, well, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's a little bit old. It's from the 90s, the 1990s, and it's like um, two FBI detectives that. Um, that go around and they are the only, they have a department called the X-Files department and it's all like um, aliens and conspiracies and like uh, creatures and like the stuff that the FBI, like the regular FBI like won't touch. And so these two agents like investigate these like um, 
aliens and UFOs and stuff. It's really good. That sounds awesome. It's really good. Uh, if I pray for you, what should I pray for? If you pray for me? Mm-hmm. Girl, pray that I can get some sleep. Mm-hmm. Please. I just want to sleep. It's so hard to sleep once you get to a certain age. I don't know what happened, but like all of a sudden I can't sleep anymore. It's like I, I can't just lay my head down and fall asleep. I, I have to like work at it. Hey guys, this is Janish meeting and I'm here hanging out with Faith. Thank you. Yes.